Hi everyone, it's James Pusey here and welcome to Sunday vlog at number two, where I uh, drink coffee and chat. I hope you'll uh, survive Super Saturday. Um, I hope you've all had a good week. Um, I know I know my week's been very, very up and down. I think it's the, uh, you know, coming to the, the slow realisation that things aren't going to get back to normal for, for musicians for, for quite a while and, you know, trying to stay as positive as one can. But uh, every now and again, it does start to get on top of you. But, um, you know, we will get through it. Um, so today is, for those who know that I have studied Indian music and the sitar for a long time, today is uh, Guru Purnima, uh, which is a day where uh, everyone shows respect for their gurus. So I'd like to start by showing respect to my uh, guru and teacher, uh, Pandit Arvin Parikh. So I'll say pranam to you, Guruji. Thank you for all your support uh, and teaching over the years. Uh, and also respect to uh, Darren Beer Singh as well, who uh, was my first teacher. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have uh, uh, done it without him starting me off on, on my journey in Indian music. Uh, so respect goes out to both of you. Um, what else has been happening this week? So I've been trying to keep up the practice, and and in fact, I've been practicing something that I've never done before, which I probably should have done. So I've been uh, taking kind of classic solos or solos that I like, guitar solos at the moment, but um, I should probably go on to other instruments. Um, so this week, I took the solo on Steely Dan's Night by Night, played by... Jeff Skunk Baxter, uh, and I learned that, and I videoed it, uh, and I may post the results <laughs> uh, at some point soon. But what I thought I'd do as well would be up the challenge and uh, compose my own solo over the, the same the same tune. So I've done that as well, which is quite an interesting process to go through because I've never done that before. Normally. Uh, you know, normally one for just just improvising solos but that's a really interesting process to go through kind of half improvisation half composition you know uh so i may post the results of that as well we'll see see how that goes as a side note when i was researching the night by night solo i discovered that skunk baxter after playing guitar for the doobie brothers and steely dan he quite by accident fell into a second career uh, in missile defence. So I was, it's fascinating when you start researching uh, these these things, the, the kind of the stuff you find out. Brilliant. I highly recommend it. So yeah, I'd love to hear what, what you've been been up to, uh, how you're staying positive, what you're practising, etc, etc. Let me know. So, on to that part where uh, I'm going to revisit some old music and uh, suggest some new music. So this week, something old. So something old this week is uh, an album that I absolutely love. It is called Thanks, I'll Eat It Here by Lowell George. So Lowell George was the guitar player and vocalist in Little Feet. Uh, you may have heard of, heard of them. But he did one solo album called Thanks, I'll Eat It Here. Released in 1979, I believe. Um, and it's fantastic. Love it. And it's probably got the, the most grooviest version of I Can't Stand the Rain on it as well. So if you don't know the album, check it out. And it's, oh, I mean, it's an absolute stellar uh, lineup of musicians on there as well. Um, Lowell George sadly passed away when he was touring this album, I think. Um, had a heart attack in a hotel room, I think. Although his, ba 
apparently the band that were on that tour joke that he was killed by a giant pizza because uh, apparently two days before he ordered this giant pizza with everything on it and ate the whole thing. Well, there you go. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> moving on. So something new this week. So something new is uh, it's just a single, actually, and it's a single called Bush Bush by Rettenbacher's Funkestra, run by bass player uh, Stefan Rettenbacher, who's an old friend of mine. Uh, doesn't make me pious, but uh, I'm, I'm always in, in awe of, of Stefan and his drive and the things he does. Um, he's been doing his own music for as long as I can remember, very successfully. <clears throat> always puts out great stuff and this new this new single bush bush um yeah is full of kind of kind of old style funk bit kind of boogaloo hint of new orleans with their own twist on it so i'd highly suggest that you check it out certainly put a smile on your face as it did mine um so that's great i think that's it for this week um as always, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want. Come and follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a few things on there as well. Um, I think now I've said that, I can't even remember what, what my name is. I think it's Pusey underscore James. But I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put it on the end of this. But anyway, have a great week. And I will see you next week for more of the same. Bye.